What is up guys, Sacrax here. So in this video we're going to be doing our boiling water test for the new flagship device, the Galaxy S7. This is water resistant this year around, uh, not like the S6 last year. And then we've also got the 6S which is not water resistant but it's proven to do very well in numerous of different water tests. And if you guys remember last year it actually beat the S6 in a boiling water test. So very interesting to see what's going to happen this year around. Uh, let's go ahead and boil some water and put these guys in. Okay guys, so we're about to do it. Boiling water. Let's do this. Okay, see what happens here. We're just sliding them in and they're fully submerged now. We just got to give it some time. You see it bubbling. And we're just going to see what happens from here. So it's going to start steaming up. Uh, we are on 8 of 10 for heat level and look at the iPhone temperature warning already gone now it usually does this but then it resets itself so I will not be surprised if it wakes up so we're gonna keep we're not gonna do anything we're just gonna keep letting them be there uh, for you know maybe a couple minutes or so and just see what happens from there and again that S7 is water resistant but we want to make sure and give them an equal amount of time in the water. It's crazy how the iPhone just shuts itself down so quickly. And I'm going to try and just uh, just kind of leave them there, maybe stir them a little bit. But for the most part, just let them uh, enjoy the little bath because I know, I know they're both enjoying this. See, the Galaxy S7 is now saying power off device. Your device is overheating. It will now power off to cool down. So it's actually going to shut itself off. Probably that same feature with the 6S. Boom, and there it shuts itself off. Okay, so at this point I'm actually going to take both of them and set them down right here. It's actually back on again. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to set them off and just see if I can power both of these and if they are fully flush, if they are fully working. And there are both of the phones. And now we're going to see if any of these, you can already see the Galaxy S7 is flickering. It seems like it's going to turn on, but let's see if these survive. Okay, guys, had both of these in the freezer for a few minutes. Let's see if they turn on. I can already see the always-on display on the Galaxy S7 right here. Let me see. Look at that. Absolutely working and great. And that iPhone 6S, let's go ahead and try and turn this on because it went off as soon as I dropped it in and I really hope this thing can still boot up um, because it was a few minutes as I'm holding the power button let's go ahead and hold both the home button and the power button I'm not seeing any signs of life guys this is pretty disappointing I thought that was just a temperature warning iPhone just you know went on standby and it would reboot like last year but looks like it's a goner this time around and look at the Galaxy S7 the champ of 2016 uh, everything is fully working yes it is it's still warm to the touch camera that is water resistance for you guys so I think that wraps it up I cannot get this guy to turn on yep so that's it guys thanks for watching 6s unfortunately did not survive the boiling water test s7 did as always stay tuned for more destruction videos and peace out